call upon Lady Tan with the speech title Ko Ito Ego Song. Ko Ito Ego Song, Lady Tan. Thank you. Cogito ergo sum. This is a Latin quote by a 17th century French philosopher by the name of René Descartes. What it means is, I think, therefore I am, suggesting that human beings are creatures of logic, creatures of rash, rational thinking, that we think and we act in rational and logical ways. Today's speech, I'm going to prove this is a myth. We basically use our emotions to do a lot of things far more than our rational thinking. We don't realize it, but we depend so heavily on emotions to get things done. I'll give you a simple example. When I went to buy a cell phone the last time, if I were to use logic, this is how I would choose a cell phone. I would look, for all, look at all the models, compare the specifications, and then start to analyze, 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 analyze until I get paralyzed. And I still may not arrive at the decision of a cell phone that I will enjoy using. But emotions manifest itself in the form of what we commonly call gut feeling. So I use gut feeling. I look around and pick one or two models that I kind of like, and I start to compare and hold it and feel it and play with it, and I pick the one that I really enjoyed the most. That is emotion, that is not logic. And I bought that one and I really enjoyed using it right until today. So basically, that is how we use emotions to make decisions instead of logic. Now, Scientists used to, uh, sorry, psychologists used to think that uh, emotion is all in the mind. But scientists have proven that emotion actually involves the whole body and not just in the mind. Because when we get emotionally aroused, the brain sends a signal down the body and causes the body to release a lot of hormones. And all these hormones actually cause disturbances in the body, and the body feels tensed, and the body feels stressed. So emotions actually arouse stress. Emotion and stress, they are sleeping partners. They go hand in hand. So when we get emotionally aroused, we must learn how to relax. I will give you an example what happens, you know. When people go around uh, interacting with one another, they think that they can use logic to make friends. But they are very wrong. Because if you don't use your emotions wisely, you will end up making a lot of enemies and not enough friends. But if you were to use your emotions wisely, and that is called emotional intelligence, you could make a lot of good friends and don't end up with enemies. So one classic example I can give you is this past month, Chinese New Year. I enjoyed myself and drowned myself in all the goodies and in the course of the last few weeks, I gained a few kilograms. Yeah, a few kilograms. And the other day I was walking down the shopping mall and then I ran into my friend. I haven't seen him for a long time. And you know what he said to me? He noticed that I had put on a few kilograms and the first thing he said, Billy, you're getting fatter. And my emotion was really aroused. For one moment, I was really boiling and I almost wanted to say back to him, oh, you think you're very skinny? Huh? But actually, I realized he is a good friend of mine, so he can't be trying to hurt my feelings. So I used emotional intelligence and said back to him, oh, thank you very much for calling me fat. You must be very concerned for my good health. See, that is the use of emotional intelligence. Because we cannot always survive on using logic. We dive into problems, we survive through the adversities, and we thrive above all the challenges. Why? Because of our burning desire to achieve our goals. And what is burning desire? Emotions. It is this burning desires 
that give us the tenacity to fight through all the challenges and tenacity is actually arising out of emotions. I would like to then point out to you that uh, it is very important to learn how to use logic to tame emotions. So when emotions are aroused and it makes us all fired up, we must also learn to tame the emotions by learning to relax. We can't stop all emotions, but we must learn to relax. When we learn how to relax, then we are in a better way to tame and control our emotions, and we can then make decisions using logic. But without operating on our emotions, and if we were to operate on logic alone, that will not do. Even modern psychologists and modern philosophers have already pointed out that we don't rely on emotions. Uh, sorry, we don't rely on logic all the time. I want to quote, I would like, I would like to conclude by quoting from America's uh, early motivational guru, Dale Carnegie. And this is what he said. When dealing with people, always remember you are dealing with creatures. You are not dealing with creatures of logic. You are dealing with creatures of emotion. Cogito ergo sum. I think, therefore I am. Really? I don't think so. And it doesn't bother me what you, you said. Rene Descartes, you can rock in your grave. But the truth of the matter is, we are creatures of emotion. We are not creatures of logic. Therefore, I feel. Therefore, I am. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.